Hi everybody. So I realized that I have my camera like way up, but I have to kind of sort of do that because it keeps sliding down. And the only way it doesn't seem to slide down is if I have it way up there. So just wanted to throw that out there before I get into the video. I want to first welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so very much for coming to my channel and liking me enough to want to subscribe and stay around. Thank you to all my former and current subscribers, family, friends. So grateful you are always here with me. Um, I've been kind of uh, busy the last couple days. I've been trying to get some things done. I had a little bit of um, a conundrum, let's just say, with a cardigan I was making. My mom was on me about a gift I was making for... She's my mom's hairdresser. She used to be mine as well when I lived back home. But um, she's also like family. She's a special person in our life. And she loved my mom's sweater. I made her so much for Christmas that mom said, you know, Brenda really liked that. And I said, yeah, I'll make her one. No problem. So mom's been on me about the sweater. And I said, all right, all right. So I decided I would zip her one out because mom needs um, some... She needs a wrap for her neck and her shoulders. And I told you I was going to be making rice bags and such. So I said, all right, since I'm making you that, I'll zip a sweater out for Brenda. Well, let me tell you what. Zipping that sweater out did not go as planned. The first sweater I made was, let me get my pattern so I don't tell you anything wrong. This is the one I was going to make because this is the one I made my mom. The Everyday Cardigan. But I wanted to make something different, so I started to make, let me find it, because I have so many patterns here. You know what, I don't even remember which one I made. I really don't. I've been on and off the phone with doctors and that. I called the dentist, I got Chucky and I an appointment for our cleaning. And I called the dermatologist to get that stupid spot in my back checked. And I have to call them back because they're at lunch. And I don't even know what pattern I use. Dang it, where is that? Well, if it ain't one of these, then I don't know where it's at. And it is not. Hmm. And that's something. I know it's a, wait, maybe it is over there. Can you guys say disorganized chaos? <laughs> That's me. Yep, this is probably it. Oh, yes, this is it. I have loved this sweater forever. So I'm going to tell you that this sweater crochets gorgeous and it is beautiful, but it's a lot because it's a lot of front and back loop. So, you know, that's a yarn eater. I went through two endless impeccable, well, a ball and a half of endless impeccable. So, let me get this. This was my first run. And it was perfect. No, let me talk to you without my back turned. Sorry, guys. It was perfect. And I'm sitting here on video talking to Billy. And I start putting this sweater together, and I get up to try it on, and I went, oh, no. I put one of these panels on this way instead of this way. Well, as you can see, this turned out absolutely gorgeous, okay? The problem is, when I went to cut my thread to detach and reattach the sweater... I cut one of the wrong threads and I cut into the sweater. Well, when I came back through and I tried to fix it, it was just a mess. I don't, there's no salvage in this sweater. So what I'm going to do is either use it for the cast to lay on. I, I really don't know. It's a sin if I ever saw a sin though. That'll tell you. So then I said, okay, after I... I didn't cry or nothing, but I wanted to seriously cry. I decided I was going to do another sweater because I made a promise. 
I have loved this sweater forever. Now, I'm going to do a review on this sweater pattern while I do this showing of the sweater. So, here's the completed sweater, and it is beautiful. No doubt about it. It's a, a size medium. Let me just step out of the camera view, and I'll try it on, and I'll show you what it looks like. Molly, come on, don't make me fall. Gunner, stop it. Okay, so I made it. Brenda is smaller than I am. Oh, let's see. Okay, so here's the sweater finished. Whoops, in the rope toy. See, and it's pretty long. Oh, I didn't tie two ends in. Okay, and it has this nice... Okay, and the sleeves can be down or the sleeves can be rolled up, which Billy likes it that way. I do too. I like it either way. And while I'm standing here, I will show you that to go with this, I made for Brenda a set of fingerless mitts. And a very nice ear warmer to go with. Okay. So that was what I made out of this pattern. Now let me put this over here and I'll be right back again. I have to leave that box. I'm sure you see what's over there, but we're not going to talk about that yet. Okay, so. Let us talk about this lovely pattern. The, it's called the car coat, okay? Now I got it on, I got a nail funky. Look at that face. I got it on uh, African Expressions. Um, the pattern itself is easy. It truly is. No problem. I mean, straightforward. Uh, they do have a mistake in the one part. They said go to row 27, but I knew it was row 37 on the front panel because the back panel went to row 27 and they were even. So the problem came when the sleeves were in question. And um, I made the sleeves. And it says, I'm just going to read this. It is a paid pattern, but I'm going to read this. Just row three. It says, repeat second row, and at the same time, increase one stitch at the beginning and of end of this row and every third row for 10 times. Continue straight until piece measures 18 inches. Then you shape your armhole. I did that. And the sleeve was like this. Like... I was like, how do I put this in there? There's no way. There was this much where the sleeve went into where it, I mean, there was like this big wide gap. So I got a hold of Billy and I showed her and then we both thought, okay, maybe it was written on like the other part. So try one more shell on each end. So I did that and then it was so big that when you put it on, the sleeve was like this, like hanging way, 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 way down. And I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Now, at this point, I'm working two days on this sweater that normally a cardigan takes me nothing. Okay. I made that cardigan for Becca in one evening sitting here. You can ask Billy. Um, Zipped it right out. No problem. And I make cardies as fast as I make critters. They're not hard at all. And I know how to read a pattern. Billy knows how to read a pattern. And both of us were like, what the bleepity bleep, 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 bleep. I mean, both of us were like, what is going on here? Well, I was having a bipolar fit. And Billy was not letting me go. Which, if I would have been Billy, I would have hung the heck up on me. But Billy being Billy stuck with me through the chaos and commotion. God love her. I love you, Billy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not giving up on my crazy butt. And um, 
she kept trying to figure it out. In the meantime, which I didn't even think to look at, she said that the pattern was um, written by Brenda Grobler, which is on the bottom of the, the pattern here. And I'm like, oh, gee, okay. So we look up Brenda Grobler, and then I realized that she might have the pattern on Ravelry, which, lo and behold, there it was. Now, if you've ever been on Ravelry, you know that they do projects and then they, they do their notes and stuff, which I started to do. I got a lot more to go. And I know there's a big controversy about Ravelry. Please, please. I know all about it. I'm just there for the pattern. I don't get into anything else. So I just want to put that out front and forward. Um, Thank God I went to Ravelry and I looked at the projects that were done because they said the pattern is definitely not for the beginner. It is 100% a complex hard pattern and you cannot attach that sleeve. You have to leave the last two rows of the sleeve unseamed to get that in there into the ease of the sleeve opening. Well, lo and behold, once I did that, right in and everything was perfect. And it's a beautiful, I mean, it is a beautiful sweater. It fits nice. It's perfect. I made size, well, it's, it's done in centimeters, so I had to convert centimeters to inches. So I did the second one, so that would be the medium. I did the size 36. Original garment is a size 34, and if I remember correctly... It's 20 off European. Well, that no, wait, that's centimeters. No, I think it's 20 off. I can't remember. But I did the medium, essentially, okay, for Brenda. The medium fits me, and she's a little bit smaller than me, so that'll be perfect because it is supposed to be a little oversized, but it's not supposed to go together, so it does fit me. I could easily wear that sweater. At any rate, um... It was torture. I I never, I'm very good at cardigans. I'm very good at reading patterns, unless I'm totally sitting there going, say, oh, I mean, I can do Amy in foreign languages. I know exactly what I'm doing by looking at a pattern. I know what they're saying. And if there's a word I don't get, I go to Google Translate and I make sure because sometimes um, their verbiage and ours is a little different. So I make sure I know, I just make sure, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to attempt this pattern, contact me or contact Ravelry, not contact Ravelry, go to the pattern in Ravelry And see what they say. Because the one lady I looked at, she really laid it out where all the mistakes were and the inconsistencies. And again, I caught the first mistake like that. I'm like, not. That's 37, not 27. And of course it was. <laughs> it just, I could not believe that something that should have took me maximum a day and a half took me three days. So it took me double the time with all the, the nonsense that was going on. Now... Do not get me wrong, there are days when I know what I'm doing, and I read the pattern correctly, and I still make a mistake. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I decided I'm going to meet my parents on Sunday, well, Chucky and I are, and I owe my mother a sweater, which is my dad's wife, that mother. Hi, Mom. And... Uh, that's the difference between her and the goose mom who got the first sweater. And if you follow me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, this brand new um, brunch cardi from, oh, Make a Do Crew, right? Yeah. I went nuts when I saw it. Now, this is out of Velux, and it's gorgeous. And I do have Velux. I have Marigold. I'm going to make mine in. But anyway, I started this, and I wanted to use the, I don't know if you all have ever seen this in person, but this is Karen Cakes Nightberry. It's gorgeous, and I have like four or five cakes of this. So, here I sit, going to town, rocking it out, Billy calls me. 
she shows me what she's doing and I'm sitting here crocheting away and I'm getting ready to show her what I'm doing and I say and I decide to fold it to show her because I wanted to see how beautiful the the thing lays and I'm folding it one way and then I'm folding it the other and I'm folding it and folding it and I'm going wait a minute that's right but why is that going in a point like that and not like this at the other end because one end would be the sleeve and one end would be the the panel of the sweater billy looks at me and says just six sides and i went i chihuahua i'm on the last two rows before you add the extension and i am missing an entire side i have five instead of six sides to my little hexagon so i said to her well i'm down to a time limit because I have to get some more stuff done. So what I'm going to do, because ripping, frogging takes a while, so I just restart it with another cake. And I'm only this, this far because I had to feed the children and I had to make some phone calls. So this will go pretty fast now. I definitely have six sides and I'm ready to rock it out. And it's done with an eight hook and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's a whip for Sunday. And for my goose mom, she got her kitchen all cleaned up and she's working on her kitchen. Well, she's not. Cousin Katie is. And um, it looks so nice in there. And I, th the second I saw this video pop up, I pulled out my cotton and I went to town. This is Crystal's new prairie dress stove dish towel. All I'm going to say is, O M G. I added a cute little flower, a loopy flower, but other than that, it's 100% crystals pattern and it is gorgeous. I used this cone, whatever colorway that is, and it took a lot, let me tell you. And just a white cotton. And it is simply stunning. I'm going to make my mom coordinating and contrasting dishcloths to go with this. And I'm going to make her a little basket for her cleaned up nice little kitchen. So that's another finished object for Sunday for the family. And also, mother, if you're watching, I made you one of your ponchos. This is also Crystal's pattern. And this is Karen, Karen Cakes in, I got to tie my ends in, guys, in uh, Toffee Brickle or something. I can't remember. I used the only two cakes I had, and it's just a nice length. It really is. It's beautiful. This was sagging and bagging something tough, and Billy helped me fix that. So, again, Billy, thank you so much, because I was ready to sail this to the moon without a rocket. And I actually like the way that mustard gold goes up top well that's not mustard that's more like a, an orangey this one's the mustard but yeah i like the way it's up at the top there so i finished that for my mother just got to tie ends in and i also have this i don't think i showed this at all i'm gonna try and finish this we'll see how far i get as you can tell i love making do crew so I was working on this hexicardi, but I don't think it's called that. This is called day date, day date sweater. Okay. But it is a hexagon and I struggled with this too. This is the first time I ever did hexagons. And let me tell you what I was like, what the flame and flip. Thank God for my Billy is all I'm going to say. So this is part one of that sweater with the extension. So is this the sleeve or the back? Nope, this is the sleeve. Okay. Oops. Get it right there, cookie. Okay. Oh, dang, I just filed that twice. So there's the back with the extension. And here's my sleeves. So there's part one. And that'll be nice. So it didn't take much once. Come on now. I keep snagging and I filed that nail three times. Um, it didn't take much once I got it rocking, and that is out of the Red Heart Ombre, the anthracite. And I don't know about you guys, but I am nuts over Red Heart Ombre. Those colors and that yarn is 
simply to die for. So I'm going to make the nightberry one and I'm going to make the other side of this one and put it together and let my mom choose which one she wants. And if I have time, I'm going to make Crystal's cocoon. We'll see. It don't take me long, I'm telling you. I can make probably three Cardies this week if I want to. I'm already on my second one. So, and that's with, well, actually my third one. And that's after making a whole one, unusable, trying to fix it, and struggling with sleeves that I had to rip out and redo. Like, I think four times I ripped out and redid those blasted sleeves. I was getting pretty doggone frustrated, needless to say. So, yes, that is that. Now, let's talk about what Cheryl Lynn found last night. So, after I talked to my father and he confirmed that we're going to see them on Sunday, I was like, well, I was on cam with Billy and I said, I got to go and get my butt to Walmart because my mother liked the Mandala mantra when Linda... Thank you again so much from Linda's Yarn Barns. Was so kind and sent me all the mandala ombres. So I figured, well, I'll run and I will use the one that Linda sent me because it's expensive. And I will buy the other that I need to make my mother a cardigan. So off to Walmart I go. Reluctantly, because you know, I hate to leave my house. And let me tell you something now. Holy moly. Now, Charles has me peeved, and I'll tell you why in a minute. As you can see, I hit the Mandala Motherload jackpot. Okay? I got in this little box. Let me tip it down. Look at this. It's, it's packed. It's packed. So let me get it down on my lap here. The first thing I saw was a whole bunch of yarn clearance and it was a lot that I didn't want any part of and then the mandala caught my eye and it was these the phoenix okay and I only found three of them and I'm like well I'm taking them I love mandala number one and I love phoenix I mean if it's mandala I love it and I told everybody that I was no longer buying any yarn unless it was mandala comfy cotton regular cotton because I don't have a lot or the stuff I use to make like Bella Becca's dog okay I stay true to my word so I get three of these and I'm happy as a clam and then I looked and I saw this and I already have some of this lovey-dovey three of them I believe so I grabbed it now these were all 350 so I was all happy happy joy joy not a lot but of what I would have hoped to find, but I was headed over to the yarn. And just as I turned, how I walked past it, I'll never tell you, was this on that shelf. I'm like, holy schnocky. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have Mandala Ombre in Cool. There was three of those in this box. Okay. There were two more of the Phoenix. I lie. Three more of the Phoenix, giving me six Phoenix total. Happy, happy joy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. And then they had. Now, I don't understand why this is clearance, but I'm grateful because it's now mine. I bought every one that they had. Let's see. I think these are all the same. Let me make sure because I was trying to show Billy which ones. Yes. And they had six of the balance. Okay. And they had only one of this and I really really liked it I would have liked to have more of this but that's okay one of the tranquil 
Okay, so now we got that established. Now let me show you what else they had. I almost pooped my pants. The Comfy Cotton in Spectrum. Nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I bought every single one of the clearance of these they had. My total was 86 and change. I didn't have it, but I robbed Peter to pay Paul because there was no way I was letting this stuff set in that store. So Chucky then says to me, will you have enough with that to make your mom a sweater? I said, first off, my mom don't like colors like that. Second of all, nobody's getting my mandala or my ombres or my comfy cottons. If I make that stuff for anybody, you're looking at her. No, not happening. I love you, mom, but no is the answer. So you guys, if you go to Walmart, check. Okay, again, they are clearance in Phoenix. At least mine did. The new Ombre Imbalance. The new Ombre in Cool. I did that, by the way. It got tangled. Comfy Cotton in Spectrum. I'm going to make me a dark blue sweater. I'm going to actually redo, where'd it go? This one. Yep. I'm doing this because I've loved this sweater from the jump in this. I love this sweater. And I learned my lesson. I will make sure I have it, the panel going the right way when I attach Still can't believe I did that. And they are clearancing Lovey Dovey in the Comfy Cotton. And this last one is Tranquil in the Mandala Ombre. So, check your Walmarts. They are crazy. I cannot believe they are clearancing that. But they did, and I was so happy to get it. So, I can't think of anything else I want to say. Um, Billy and I started our carousel. Our first um, lady got it. I don't know if Lisa got hers. I didn't even ask Billy when I was talking to her. But, Sin, I saw your video. You looked very happy. I'm so glad. Um, get with me with your where it's going. I need a tracking number, please, and let me know that you sent that because we have four days from the time we received the box to get that out, so I'm excited to see it going. And uh, the only one whose address we don't have is Karen and Brian at Fiber Hearts. Hi, guys, but I know you're busy, busy at your conference, so take your time. No rush. Um, Billy also knows that. Just a little reminder if you watch this video. I hope you're having a blast there. Um, Jacoba, I wanted to message you and I've just been crazy again, like usual. Um, I saw that you want a sewing machine, Matt. I'm not sure if I'll have one for the sale, but I will happily make you a sewing mat. Let me know what kind of fabrics you want and I can pull out what I have or, you know, video some of them and you can let me know what you're looking for and I'll, you know, by that, I'll pull out what I think is close to that or whatever, and we'll go from there. But I'll happily make you one, sweetheart. Um, I was going to do a live sale this Sunday, but with the my mom has an appointment at Hershey with her kidney specialist because my mom needs a kidney transplant. I think I told you all that before. And um, Daddy said he's not getting up at 5.30 in the morning, and I don't blame him. So they're going to spend the night in Hershey, and we're all going to meet. And have, well, I'm not going to eat much, but we're going to meet at a restaurant and visit a little bit. And then um, I'm going to give them their stuff so happy. And I'll get to see them. And then 
I'll keep working for next week will be the live sale, which will be the first, the second weekend in August, but it's going to be counted as Christmas in July. So whatever special I was going to have Christmas in July, I'm just going to say, you know, this is me honoring the Christmas in July special I was going to have, but didn't get the chance to. I did say that in another video, so I will still be honoring that. I still haven't done any sewing. I've been working on cardigans, ear warmer, fingerless mitts. I made some more stuff. It's under there, but it doesn't need to be shown now. I just wanted to get that situated. And I also started another whip. Whip, whip. Uh, let me show you that. This is the easy... Squeezy lemon peasy or easy breezy lemon peasy. I don't know. Oh, this was the poncho I made my mom. This, this, it's the Boho Caramel Macchiato Hooded Ladies Poncho by Crystal. That was what I made my mom. And let me see. Up oh, here we go. Easy breezy lemon squeezy, easy peasy, easy peasy lemon squeezy pullover. That's what I'm making, and I'm using an 8 millimeter hook for Mandala, but that's three weight. I'm not using Mandala. I'm using this because I'm nuts over it. These colors. And I do have to frog it back because this is cuppy cake, lime bread cupcake in apple picking. I love this colorway. Uh, let's see. I have, ooh, I pulled a straight pin out. I have to frog back because I don't have 50 stitches. I have to do 50. And even though it looks even, isn't that gorgeous? It is not. And I got an, this color of this, and I got a nice orange color of this, a darker orange that'll look gorgeous under this. And I mean, that's why I bought them, that I had to wear it right away. Because that's just how I am. Um, so yeah. This has to be frogged back, but as you can see, it's going to drape absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's another whip. There's no stitch marker in it because I have to frog it. So I didn't bother. This is, did I ever show you this kit I bought from Lion Brand when they were 25% off? It's that tank. I absolutely love it. I've got to make that one. And then when I'm done, I'm going to make more of them and put it in the bag but it it's done with the 24 7 cotton in silver love it just love it it takes five balls i haven't had a chance to make that but now that i got all that blue i'm definitely going to make another one because i love it that in this bag. I don't have an extra bag here for that whip, but that's okay. I just want to keep my whips in bags. Do I have bags? No, I do not have bags. That's all right. I'll get a bag for this then. Okay, guys, so I think that's it that I want to say right now. Oh, I started another one, but I don't know where the, I don't know. I didn't understand what it said. I'll show you that another time. So that's the video for today. I am going to get back to work. I might put a movie on. I don't know. I got my housework done except for my mop, and that's not urgent. Wim was changing the laundry. I might have a load or two. Excuse me to put away. But that's where I'm at. I'm busy as a booger. Stuff for... The sale in between, but now it's crunched to get stuff done. I have the Wynn's co-workers coming over Saturday to try and catch some kitty cats. So she was going to go over and hang at the office. I'm like, are you nuts? Get over here. You know, you're welcome here anytime. You don't got to go hang at the office. So Sam's coming over on Saturday, which is fine. I'll be up and working. Finishing everything for Sunday. So, yeah. That's what I'll be doing. But 
I wanted to catch up. I wanted to make a video. I wanted to say what's going on. Say hi to everybody. And I miss you all so much. And I've been here. I've just been. Oh, the one night I checked out completely. All I did was binge watch the finale of Orange is the New Black. I am so, 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 so sad. Yeah. I didn't want it to end. It was all right the way it ended. But, you know, I was watching Kristen. She said she don't like watching the end of a show because it feels like she's saying goodbye to a friend. You know it, Krista. I have to agree there. I just, I was not ready for it to end. And Wentworth, I tried to get that, but so, uh, Foxtel is so slow on when they give us Wentworth. It's always a year after it airs in Australia. If anybody knows, back in the day I could, but I don't know how or where I could stream the Wentworth before it came on Netflix. And for some reason, I can't now. If anybody knows how, message me. Let me know. I am jonesing to watch Wentworth Season 7. It's driving me crazy. So please, if you know how, let me know. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. I need to get back at this cardigan and get as much done as I can for... Sunday to see my family and maybe I'll take some video of that day so you can see my different moms and me together so you can differentiate between who's who and I don't know if my daddy will get on camera or not Lord only knows with him but yeah maybe I'll get some footage on Sunday of my family I wanted to do that when we went up for Christmas but I didn't even think about it to be honest with you so, maybe this time I can get it. We'll see. We shall see. Let me count this quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's not right. I missed a stitch somewhere. Don't stitch and talk. It doesn't work. Oh, I see why. One, two. All right, guys. So, I'm going to bid you adieu for now. Sorry if this video was blah, blah, blah. That's what it felt like I was doing but it is 37 minutes. If you have not already and just happened upon my channel, please do take a minute and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload. Please give my content a thumbs up if you like my video, and also it would be awesome if you would share me with your friends, family, and social media because they too might like my content. And Shelly, 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 I am thinking about you, honey. I miss you. I did catch your video where you've made it. I'm so happy. Uh, maybe if you have time in a little bit here, I'll message you and maybe we can cam a little bit. Because it's been forever. I don't even know if you're set up. But let's see. Maybe you are. I will get with you today or tomorrow. But I will get with you in the next day or so because I miss you tremendously. That said, y'all, I am going to seriously bid you adieu, talk to you soon. I love you all. Thank you so very much for being here and being part of my channel, and we shall talk soon. Take care. See you soon. Stay cool. Love you all. Bye. I can't turn my own stupid thing off. One of those days, guys. Take care.